Hey guys, welcome to Samco Workshop. This is Jason Samco Bay. Today we're going to be talking about the king of storage in a mid-sized world. Uh, coming from full-size trucks and things like that where you got a lot of room is one thing, but when you get into something smaller, uh, for the capabilities of something smaller that you want, uh, your storage is, a, is an issue for some of the things we need, especially when you off-road as much as I do. This vehicle, this as you can see by looking at it, I mean, I just washed it two days ago, but it spends 90% of its life in the dirt and in the mud and it's just all that's what it does all the time with all my hunting and stuff that i do here in georgia i can hunt wild hogs um on public land you technically year round in certain places and uh, that gives me the ability to be in the woods tremendous amounts of times and i'm covered in mud constantly um so but in that off-road scenarios i need storage for that off-road accessories and that kind of gear one of the things i looked at with this when i was buying a mid-sized truck going from my Ram 2500 that I was driving, 2500 diesel, um, was that when I went into this size of a truck, I needed the storage capabilities. Okay, that was mandatory. Coming even from my Cherokee Trailhawk that I had before this, well, we had that Ram 2500. That Cherokee Trailhawk had a lot of room in the back end that I could find ways for storage. This has a bed. You could throw things back there too, which will be the case when I have to take over this 4Runner. When Tina buys her next vehicle, I'm going to take this over as a hunting vehicle. Um, that'll be a couple years from now but i'll have to figure out storage setups in here and how to find places because there's not a lot of compartments you can see i just got a tow strap stuffed up there i got a tire repair patch kit up there some things stuck in there a compressor stuffed in there uh, i have a saw and some other things in with the jack but you're limited on some of your storage features i will figure that out when the time comes because there are things that i have to have with me when i'm out there this truck fortunately over like the ford ranger and things like that is the king of storage on it on the inside not to mention the factor of the rear uh you know and you can put this in any truck but i put in those uh those uh rough country molly panels all the way down the side you can see i got my shovel on there a tow strap there two uh hard clever or uh, shackles my saws hanging right there this side there's two more straps there one more up front uh if you watch my other videos you know that the reason that i have so many straps is because you can i teach you how to use your vehicle your wheels of your vehicle to winch you out and so that requires those three straps right there minimum to do it plus an extra one right there um i have my snake hook right here uh comes in real handy for snakes but also for using it to pull stuff that's like straps and things that are in the back I got my traction boards up there in the front, held on with a rod there. Uh, like I said, I got a lot of extra, so these are my, my extra arrows, my quiver with my extra arrows, cooler, stuff like that. And then you got this compartment here, though, that's stock automatically. Nice, and I have like seven, six or seven ratchet straps and tie-down straps in there. But uh, I love that Tacoma gives you that. That's a very nice feature that they have sorry about all the dust like i said it spends all its time off road and in the woods but uh um but these molly panels are nice i did have my compressor on here but i used it so much i moved it inside um and i had another set of soft shackles or hard shackles on there too that i actually lent to my dad and have not got back yet um he was using them for some pulling some some branches but um that's just in the back but when we look in the back seat behind there you know obviously in the front you have your standard storage in your account center console your glove box blah 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 that kind of thing but we're talking about real storage here so i pull my snake boots out of here um but uh i got all kinds of accessories things that are must have again when you're in the woods let me set that stuff there it's some of my camera gear pull this extra tripod out and set it here just for now um so we are looking for storage. Now, you could lay things on the back floor too, but I want neater than that. I need things kind of tucked away and put away, organized safes and that sort of thing. This truck gives us that option. If we take this back seat and lift this up, okay, which again, you can see it's a truck I live in. Look at all that crap. This is where my backpack usually sits. So you can see all this stuff that accumulates from my pack. That's the reason I have seat covers. These rough country seat covers on here, they protect everything. I'll put a link to them in there, but these rough country Country neoprene seat covers waterproof they're tough as nails they get beat like you wouldn't believe and they hold up really good so those are on there but storage wise 
this is a tremendous asset to us, okay? We have these two compartments back here. This is awesome, okay? You can see I keep a bunch of gear in here. I got another, this, here's another shackle right there, okay? I got my hat in there. I got my uh, oil filter wrench, a ton of straps in here. I got gloves in here. These industrial massive size zip ties, another trailer key, lashing straps. I got uh, tree stand straps. I got regular, uh, regular straps. I got a lot of stuff in here that comes in very handy to have that I need to have access to now the other beautiful part is with the tacoma these seats will also fold down if i pop this headrest off and i take this seat and fold it down it will create this flat surface right here they give you this hard panel that would fold down flat and give me a hard surface right here that would be flat in here and would work perfectly okay so if i were to i'm not going through all that trouble with one hand uh, you'd have to hit the lever pop the headrest out and then the seat folds flat and you have that hard work surface but look at the space i have behind the seat here too this is my whole tool kit look at the size of that tool bag and look at that massive compartment I have back there, okay? It's just huge to have all that kind of room. These are extra straps that I carry for those things that I got connected to the Molly panels right there. But that massive compartment back here is this whole big space and a tremendous amount of room to fit things in, which I'll show you again here when we get on the other side. But that, that storage option in here... Is, is just excellent this i just leave in here this, like i said these are um you know this is a this is a working truck here but like i said this is no showboating i don't treat it nice i beat this truck like you wouldn't believe it's it's a tool for me uh it is it is a hardcore heavy use hunting tool is what it is um so if we come around on the other side and uh i mean just like i said truck gets gets used there's no doubt about it we come over here Move my water jugs. Here we got a hat down here that I usually keep stuck here. Again, that's because my bow tip goes there and my long bow fits in here. That's why I have this towel here. Towels come in handy for a lot of different uses when I'm hunting in the rain, but also comes in handy to keep my uh, my bow tip from sliding under there. So that's what these couple of things are here for, and it's always nice to have a hat in your car if you need it uh, for cold morning. So there's a spare hat there. You pull these waters and throw them over on that side. Can never have enough water when you're in the woods hunting. That's what all this stuff is. Now, here we got the same kind of deal. The seat's going to flip right up, okay? When it does, and we're here, we have another one of these compartment boxes, okay? Now, when we open this one, we do have our jack in here, our car jack, actual jack that we need, and uh, the irons for it and stuff. But I have all this extra storage in here for this things here. This is another, this is a full tire um, repair kit. I don't have a vehicle that doesn't have these. And I have not had to put a spare tire on a vehicle in over six years because I carry these. Okay, these tire repair kits. Um, if I get a flat and I start to see my gauge saying there's a flat coming in, I can pull over immediately. I can find that flat and patch it in next to no time. I can patch it in about three minutes, use my compressor, which I'll show you, and pump it back up and be good to go. I don't need to change to my spare tire. Most of your flats that you will ever get will be something stuck in a tread, a screw, a nail, a rock that made its way in there, something like that. Very seldom do you ever get one in a sidewall. It's going to be in the actual tread. When that happens, I, my gauge goes off i get a warning light telling me i'm dropping psi in that tire i can pull over on the side of the road check that tire take my water bottle and pour water on it if i can't see the obstacle and see where that leak is or find the obstacle i can grab my tool kit behind that seat and pop out whatever nail or whatever's in there and then i can take this plug kit right here and pop plug it real fast and once it's plugged re-blow it back up in just a matter of minutes so um both trucks i have both vehicles have a uh have a tire repair kit in them i showed it to you in the, the forerunner just a minute ago when we were over there and it also has a compressor in it but mandatory stuff um i keep a bunch of uh uh, garbage bags in here. These are heavy duty compactor bags. I got a ton of room still in this. Uh, paracord for all sorts of uses, parts that I need for some of my photography stuff that I need, and a four way, a folding four way. This is because of the fact that my trailers, I have a couple different trailers and you don't know which size lug nuts are for what, but, or if I'm helping somebody else, these are a folding four way. I'll put links to this stuff down below for you, but you can see that this will one handed here. Let me see, drop on and hold that side. This one comes over and he's little like that. And that will hold, pop that on. Now it's an actual functional four way. 
But see a four way is hard to fit somewhere for storage. This one folds down very conveniently, again, one handed, but it folds down flat like that. And now it can fit wherever you want to put it at. So just a nice feature. But we have all of this storage in here, all of this room inside of here. That's a beautiful thing. I got lots left that I haven't used. This one, we could pull the headrest out and drop the seat down as well too, if we wanted to and have it lay flat. Here's that panel I was telling you about again. But look back here, okay? We have back in the back end here, my Viair compressor. This is a full-on compressor. Told you we had one. We could use it anytime we need to. We have a jump starter, which I've shown you these before. This is tack life, but I don't go anywhere. Again, I'm out in the woods by myself all the time. Having something like this, this thing can jump start my dead battery in a heartbeat. Um, and it can do it even, this would jump start my diesel that I had. And I just make a point every, uh, every three months or so to recharge this and make sure that it's charged. And uh, it comes in very handy. Plus I can use it in camp to charge batteries and cell phones and uh, camera batteries and things like that. But that sits in here. We have my ARB snatch strap. Okay, this is for an actual snatch strap when I have somebody else that can pull me out. But this is not a uh, standard recovery strap. This is a um, elongating elastic uh, recovery strap. They're amazing. Okay, an ARB a snatch strap is well worth having. I have two soft shackles inside of here. Those are incredible too. Actually, all I buy now are the soft shackles. They're, they're well worth their weight in gold. And it, they're lightweight and they're not dangerous like a metal shackle is. So those are very, very handy to have. Um, and then we got two more 20 footers right here. And then a tree saver down there too for going around a tree to say you know to, to protect that tree itself and uh, all this stuff basically just fits right inside of here but look at the size of that storage look at this massive storage compartment we have back here it's unbelievable and uh and you don't you know you can't get that there's nothing in like the ford ranger there's you know, so many vehicles have so little storage in this mid-sized truck area that it's like they like they forgot about us or don't care about the stuff that we might need and it's a shame because we want we got to have gear and all of that stuff fits back there and room to spare it goes all the way up to here and uh sets right in there too so i mean there's so much opportunity and storage in this truck it's unbelievable not to mention you do have storage under your front seat. Here you can see I got multiple tripods. I got another thing of toilet paper stuffed up under there and some other things under that front seat. You got plenty of room under this seat here as well too if you want to put a little bit under there. Um, not, not, you know, not a tremendous amount, but that you can see the amount of stuff that I'm carrying in here. There's nothing I can't get myself out of. There's no situation that can be too much for me to deal with or that I can't handle on my own or with using help from somebody else to get me out of problems and situations. So it's all right there in this truck with perfect storage, perfect options. And there's not another mid-sized vehicle that has that kind of capability. It's one of the reasons that I picked this truck. Um, there's pros and cons to every vehicle out there. There's things I love about this truck. There's things that piss me off tremendously about this truck. Um, you know, such as, uh, you know, what it takes to how it searches for four wheel drive all the time. Like you can't just put it in and have it click over instantly uh, like Ford does. This one, when you hit it, it takes, you know, you got to roll forward a little bit, get it to go in. Same with the front where with the rear locker, uh, it takes, you got to hunt back and forth and turn the wheels and fight to get in and out of it. Um, you know, there's, there's some, some issues there. I mean, it works flawlessly when it's there, but there's some little hiccups on this truck that drive me crazy. One of the things that I love more than anything is the amount of storage. It is absolutely vital that I have this gear with me for what I do. And this truck has the room for it and it keeps it a nice, clean, simple look. So there you go. Tacoma in the midsize world, it is the king of storage. More storage in it than actually on my F-150 too uh, I had because of the fact that you got those compartments inside. So there's a lot of room. You had more room in a 150, but it was loose room. You'd have to figure out a way to compartmentize it um, or stop it. They do sell aftermarket accessories for that, but as far as right out of the gate from the factory, hard to beat that Tacoma. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Be back with more stuff for you soon. All right, bye.